is Lisa Becking. I'm an assistant professor at Wageningen University in Research. And my field is, broadly speaking, tropical marine biology. Basically, as a kid, I always had my head underwater. I was just mesmerized by all the different creatures and animals in the sea. And really, kind of what sparked my curiosity as a kid really still drives my research. Because when I look at all the diversity in the sea, let's say in the coral reefs, I wonder what keeps this diversity in place and how will it respond to our changing oceans. So with NVO, um, a couple of years ago, we got a large project together with Marilijn Christianen and Per, per Palsbol from uh, Groningen University. Um, and we, we set up this project together with um, uh, basically all the local uh, marine NGOs, so with uh, uh, sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire, Stinapa, Stenapa, Seba Conservation Foundation, and Sint Maarten Conservation Foundation. Uh, and this is a project geared towards the, the ecology and conservation of sea turtles in the Dutch Caribbean. One of the things that I, I love, the project that I love, is actually the Seba Bank Expedition. So that's one, because it's a wild place and it's kind of amazingly beautiful. It's just this sort of weird Dr. Seuss landscape underwater and the work that we're doing I find very interesting. But what I think maybe is the reason why I keep wanting to come back and do it um, is that we're on the boat for a week with researchers from both, let's say, European Netherlands as well as Korea Caribbean Netherlands. And we really spend that time together, working together, and you, you get to know each other, you get to know each other's research, and, and you, you build, yeah, it's a friendship and a trust. And I, I, I would say that that is a key point as well in, in just doing our research further. When we started, what the case was is that there was still a lot of fundamental baseline information was lacking in order to set up a very um, cohesive and coherent management plan. And so we really just needed sort of a lot of information about um, what are the population sizes, where do the sea turtles migrate to, what habitats do they use, what threats to the habitats are there, because it's quite a, a wide variety of, of questions we have, we also have quite a wide variety of um, methods that we use. So it kind of ranges from satellite tracking, DNA uh, genomics work, uh, isotope work, as well as um, a lot of underwater counting and pictures and yeah. So we work with a, a, a wide range of um, organizations on, on the different islands. So for the sea turtle, um, sea turtle conservation and uh, ecology project, we work with actually all islands. We had some ideas about what we thought might be uh, relevant questions and, and, and issues, but then we, we were quite closely in contact with all the different groups in order to really define the questions uh, that are most relevant to the region. And, and what's kind of key in all of these projects is that as an ecologist you can think, okay, these are the issues, these are our main priorities, and that's what we should do. But what's key is to then take those priorities and then talk with the different organizations and different people locally, You're like, okay, how do our priorities here align with your priorities? And, and I think that is something that um, can be forgotten sometimes, but I see it now more and more that that's part of the process. I see that in many different um, projects, uh, not, not only in ours, but in other projects as well. So these opportunities from the past two calls, as well as the, the, the coming calls, of uh, the, the MAO Caribbean call, um, are really also are a chance for um, academics from both the Netherlands as well as Caribbean Netherlands and other Caribbean nations uh, to work together on various problems within uh, the Caribbean. Um, and that's nice for, let's say, more senior researchers, um, but it's definitely a great chance for, for the wide variety of students to do their projects. I mean, I've been seeing students from the MBO, from the HBO, from the, yeah, the VAO, to doing their projects and learning uh, different skills along the way, but also uh, getting to know different researchers that they maybe then later work with or get to know different organizations to later work with. So I, I think there's the, 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 the specific benefit for whatever the question or the goal is of, of the specific projects, but there's this sort of larger benefit of, well, I would say of the students uh, and creating uh, critically thinking students that are going to be great participants in the society.